this edition of LabCast, we'll be looking at the bones of the rat in our dissection series. And uh, I'm going to be comparing the bones of the human anatomy using the skeleton here with the bones of the rat in the, uh, the dissection that we're doing. So uh, go ahead, here are these steps for removing the muscles to observe the bone. And then we'll come back and we'll take a look at the skeleton here. Now that we've finished with the muscles, we'll go on to look at the bones. Um, you're going to choose one arm and one leg to remove the muscles from and observe the bones. Um, it doesn't matter which one you pick. Uh, one of the keys to uh, getting down to the bones is having easy access to um, the arm or the leg so you can actually remove the um, muscle. I'll probably use this arm right here just because I can uh, easily get to it and um, probably do the opposite leg would be this one over here. So removing the muscles, no big trick. Just use a combination of your scalpel, probe, and scissors. Uh, remove them until you get down to the bones. So uh, I'll go ahead and do that, and then I'll go ahead and point out uh, the different bones that we're going to try to identify. We'll now look at the bones of the arm. They're very similar to the human bones. We'll be looking at three in particular, the humerus, ulna, and radius. We zoom in on the arm. I've exposed the bones by removing the muscles. And um, we point them out to you. First of all, we'll start at the shoulder and uh, work our way toward the wrist. Connecting the hand to the shoulder is the humerus which is uh, the larger bone, just a single bone that extends from the shoulder to the elbow area. Below that are two bones that are very tightly uh, spaced together. They are separate, but sometimes they appear as a single bone. Um, the bottom one is the ulna. There are a couple of ways to distinguish the ulna from the radius. Uh, the first would be the length. The ulna is a little bit longer than the radius and it extends to the elbow. The elbow is uh, attached to it so the ulna is underneath there. The second way you can remember it um, is ulna starts with a U and the ulna is under the radius. So the ulna right here and then on top of that is the radius which is slightly smaller. You can confirm that they are indeed separate by you know, inserting your scalpel or uh, something else between them and you can see the separation there. So just again, we have the ulna on the bottom, the radius on the top, and then the humerus extending from the elbow to the shoulder. Take a look first at the arm bones of the human as compared to the rat. Extending from the shoulder down to the elbow, we have the humerus, and there are two bones that extend from the uh, elbow to the wrist, the ulna and the radius. The ulna is the little bit longer one that connects at the elbow. The radius is the smaller bone that extends from below, just below the elbow, down to the wrist. So just once again, we have the humerus, the ulna, which is a little bit longer, and the radius, which is a little bit shorter. We'll move on to the leg now and take a look at uh, some bones there. I've selected the uh, femur, the fibula and the tibia to look at. Um, I'll show you these in the rat and then we'll compare the, uh, the same bones in the human skeleton. So let me zoom in here. Removing the muscles of the leg can be a challenge because they're really thick, uh, very powerful muscles, especially the hind legs of the rat. But uh, keep working at it and you'll get them apart. Um, uh, right here on the top, this is the shin bone or the tibia that you can see. Below it and separate is the fibula, and this is a very, very thin bone, and if uh, you have to be careful when removing the muscles that you don't um, destroy this one. Uh, it's about a, the size of a toothpick. Both of these bones connect to the femur at the knee, uh, or the patella, and my femur has uh, broken. I have a couple of pieces of it here. Um, you can see there's a portion of it right here, and then it connects to the hip right here. The femur is the largest bone 
in the human body um, and one of the largest in the rat as well. So again, we have the femur right here, which is the hip to the knee, and then the tibia, which is your, your shin bone, and then the fibula, which is just behind the tibia, or the, uh, yeah, the tibia. So we'll take the, uh, the human skeleton and look at these same bones in that. As far as the leg bones go, they are a little bit different between the rat and the human, primarily because of the method of movement that rats use, running on all fours versus humans walking upright. The femur extends from the hip down to the knee. This is the largest bone in the human body right here. There's a small bone right here. This is your kneecap, also known as the patella. And then there are two bones extending from the knee down to the ankle. We have um, the tibia, which is the larger of the two bones, and then the fibula, which is the smaller skinny bone. There's a little slight space in between them. So again, we have the femur, the tibia, and the fibula.